Hello guys and girls, hope you're all doing well and welcome to another review. Today we are looking at the Air Arms Galahad and this is long overdue. I think I probably promised this review about a year ago, um, so it's really late, but rather late than never. Now the story of my interest in this gun goes back a very long time. I actually saw an early prototype of this rifle way back in September 2015 when I visited the Air Arms factory and it's been pretty cool to see how it has been tweaked since the early stages. Claire West and the Air Arms team actually traveled to a number of different trade shows all over the world and asked people for their opinions on various features of the Galahad before they actually finalized the design. And that's one of the things that I think Air Arms deserves a lot of credit for. Their willingness to engage with and listen to their customers. Now that the design has been finalized, let's see what it's all about. Now let's be honest, the Galahad is a far departure from the traditional line of Air Arms rifles. And I think that if, if all the Air Arms guns were a family, this would be the kid that everyone thinks looks adopted. <laughs> While most Air Arms rifles are quite simple, the Galahad features parts that are actually quite complicated. We have a lot of the old familiar features like the classic Air Arms magazines, steel air cylinder, well-crafted stock, but new features like the cocky mechanism give us a lot to talk about. Don't mistake this for an S510 that's been modified. It's a whole new design in itself. When I think of Air Arms, I think of reliability and I think of attention to detail. I've been to the Air Arms factory, I've seen how they are absolute perfectionists when it comes to making products that are perfectly manufactured and assembled. And I'm sure there must have been plenty of risks making a product like the Galahad, which is so different to everything else they've made, um, but I'm glad to say that the Galahad seems just as well built and just as solid as any of the other Air Arms products and attention to detail is definitely there. Just look at the engravings on the bottom of the pistol grip and the back of the shoulder pad and the inclusion of features such as a little bubble level on the scope rail. I know some people don't like the design or the look of this gun, but I'm sure everyone can appreciate the small things. When it comes to bullpups, ergonomics is everything and I think the Galahad has got it right. The cheek piece is rubberized and it feels really good. Uh, the stock is well crafted and I think the checkering is in the right place. The pistol grip feels good and the weight distribution is about right. So no complaints there. I like the fact that the cocking lever is forward. It allows you to keep your cheek weld while reloading and is definitely better than the rear set mechanisms on some bullpups like the Caliber Gun Cricket and the Edgun Matador for example. However, I do question why Air Arms didn't go with the standard side lever. You know, perhaps they didn't want to copy what FX had done with the uh, Wildcat and Impact, um, but I do think that the forward and backwards side lever just feels a little bit more natural than the, the up and down movement of, of this lever. Um, you, perhaps you could get used to it after a while. I've only had this gun for three days, so I can't say too much about that. Being a bullpup, I didn't expect the, the trigger mechanism on the Galahad to be as good as the other Air Arms PCPs, and it isn't. It lacks a little bit of sensitivity, uh, it's not as crisp, and that's probably because of the rod mechanism that, that comes back inside the rifle. It's probably on par with the Caliber Gun Cricket. You know, some other manufacturers have found their way around this. Daystate with the electronic trigger on their bullpups, and FX with the hammer system being directly above the trigger sear on the uh, impact but when you have a rod mechanism like this it is very very difficult to retain that sensitivity. I really have to give credit to Air Arms for the way that they've done the adjustable power on this gun. Firstly because it looks and feels great but secondly because it came about as a result of listening to customers. When I saw an early prototype of the Galahad more than a year ago, the power wheel was the same as the one on the S510. In other words, it was free to move and didn't have any clear divisions. It didn't click into place. I suggested that the power wheel should definitely feature positive clicks, um, just for the sake of consistency. And I actually remember watching Claire West 
write down the suggestion. So I don't know if it was just because of my suggestion or whether other people chipped in, but it's really good to see that they are open to suggestions like that. It's bringing their company forward. The Galahad now has five repeatable power levels that click into place and the adjuster feels very well made. I think this is a huge improvement, so really well done Air Arms. Now, one of the things that I didn't like about the Galahad is that it is very, very loud, or at least the high power version is. The barrel is shrouded, but when compared to other shrouded bullpups that are the same length, the Galahad does bark a fair bit, so you'll probably want to fit an additional silencer to quiet things down a bit. I've been using one of the old Air Arms TX585 silencers, but Air Arms is making a shortened silencer just for the Galahad, so that might be worth looking at. The Galahad fills differently to the other Air Arms PCPs, and I really like this fill system. Um, it basically features a probe that's very, very similar to the Wildcats probe that just slots in right at the fore end of the air cylinder and it's a very very simple way of filling the rifle so I, I do like that. This rifle is very heavy um, probably partly because of the metal work that encases the cocking mechanism um, but also because it features a steel air cylinder instead of an aluminium air cylinder. I'm not going to label this as a positive or a negative because a heavy gun might actually be a good thing depending on what your purposes are. The weight can reduce vibrations when shooting and improve your accuracy. However, if you don't like a lot of weight, the Galahad is also available in a shortened configuration that will give you less shots but will be much easier to lug around. And lastly, let's look at the most important category, performance and accuracy. Let's look at some chronograph results first. I was pleasantly impressed to see that the regulated version of the Galahad showed massive improvement in shot count and consistency compared to my other Air Arms rifles. If we compare the Galahad to the S510 Extra, a rifle with a very similar air capacity and energy output, we can see the huge difference that the regulator has made. The number of usable shots per fill has basically doubled. I suggested the use of a regulator after fitting an aftermarket reg to my S510 and seeing huge improvements and I'm really glad that this has been included on the Galahad. There is still room for improvement however and we can see this on the chronograph results. The velocity should not be dropping with the cylinder pressure. It should be staying fairly consistent like the shot string that we see from the FX Wildcat. Air arms are still quite new to regulating their high power rifles though, so I'm sure we'll see them perfecting this in the near future. And now onto the accuracy testing. Right, we are at 50 yards with the Galahad. Uh, there is a little bit of wind out there, so I'm not expecting the groups to be uh, incredible, but it should give us a pretty good idea of how this gun matches up to uh, the other rifles that we've tested in the past. 10 shots in the magazine. Let's put 10 rounds down target. I'm not gonna take my time, I'm gonna go fairly quickly because I've got a pretty steady rest here. Let's see how we do. Now as we look at this group being shot, I want to talk a little bit about the regulator and why I believe it's so important. At 50 yards, you'll see that this group is pretty much on par with the S510's capabilities. I think the overall group size was about three quarters of an inch, maybe a little bit more. So you don't see the reg making much of a difference at 50 yards. It's only when you push your ranges out a little bit further that you'll see the difference. Now because your velocities are more consistent, your vertical dispersion will improve. And this should tighten up your groups quite a bit. So if you're going to be doing any long range shooting, I would really suggest spending a little bit of extra money and getting the regulated version. I really think it's worth it.
Well, that is the Galahad, ladies and gentlemen. I actually really enjoyed making this review, even though it was quite rushed. And I want to say something in closing. I want to say that the things that I like most about this gun, not the fact that it's a bullpup, not the fact that they've got this fancy new cocking mechanism, um, you know, those things are, are big changes. But what I like most about this gun are the small small things, the, the small attentions to detail like the, the clicks on the adjustable power and the inclusion of a regulator. Why? Well because I believe that these small things show that air arms are actually moving forward. This is not just another version of the S510, it's a huge jump in an exciting new direction and the company deserves credit for that. All I'd really like to see now is the inclusion of these features in the S510. I can say for a fact that the S510 with a factory installed regulator and a clicking power adjuster would be something to behold. And just for interest's sake, I'm going to put a little poll or a little survey in the top right hand corner of this video. I want to ask you, would you like to see the changes such as the clicking power adjuster and the regulator in the S510? I'm, I'm really interested to just hear your opinion on this. So put your answer up in the top right hand corner. Thank you so much for watching and I'm keen to see you guys next time.